Alright, so welcome back to the part two of learning plasticity. Um, where I'm learning plasticity, <laughs> and so maybe so so are you guys, and uh, you guys can uh, maybe tag along on the journey. Um, but yeah, so notice that I got some more reference for our uh, lovely Wolfenstein New Order assault rifle, which is really cool. There's a lot of really complicated parts on this, which is going to be uh, a task to kind of achieve, but we'll do our best. But I noticed here that what that, that we have uh, the the rifle here, so the the stock here, it's curved, and then it gets after this curve, which by the way, mine was way too long, and I do not know how to change it. I know that sometimes you can select the faces and then you can pull them, and it t it does kind of move them, but I do not know how to kind of change that. Uh, maybe if I grab these and press G. Nope, but that's all right. But then it reaches this point where it kind of starts, and it, it there's like a, a little hole here which we can cut out. We'll cut out that in a second, and then it starts curving the other way, all the way to to here, right? Uh, which is quite an interesting shape. And if it was in Maya, it would uh, it would yeah, it would be all right to make. But I'm gonna try and do that today. Uh. So yeah, let me just work out the length of this, and I'll start by cutting out that little place, that little area here. So I'm going to go into the front view, and I'm going to grab a corner rectangle, and I'm just going to click here and then drag corner rectangle until roughly, I'll drag it to that edge, and then we can balloon that, bevel that edge or something. I'll right click to confirm that. And then go to face mode, select it, and then pull that out. And I press G, and I'm going to push that in, like so. I'm going to right click to confirm that. Go to go into edge mode, select these two edges, and give them a very small fly like that. That's looking good. Then I can go into object mode, select this object press Q and then select this one and then right click to confirm that. Actually before I do I should work out the scale here a little bit better. This should be a little bit, bit longer. Maybe even a little bit longer. And then right click to confirm. And then select this, then this Q, right click. Cool. Now for this part to kind of invert this curve, uh, what I'll do is, um, I've been really really enjoying this kind of uh, free point arc tool, which you can do some really cool stuff. I'm, I'm going to click on this top edge, I'm going to click on this bottom one, and then I'll pull to create an arch like so, then I'll let go, and that will do for now, and then what I'll do from here, so I'll, because I want to create a solid so I can bevel that, is I'll actually cap that, so I'll go create another line that goes from there to there, right click, which will create that shape, and then I think if I select that line, press control, Press G. No. Select these. Or maybe select the face itself. Yeah, I'm going to select the face itself and extrude that out. Then I'll select this edge and extrude that out. Control E. Or E, sorry, just to control to extrude. Like that. Yeah, that, that'll do. Cool. And then. I've got that rough shape, and then I can press S and scale that out, G, move it in, till it covers that whole area. Again, if you know a better method of achieving that, please let me know. <laughs> and then Alt X to mirror that, click on this little part, right click, confirm. And that's looking good. 
go into object mode by pressing 4, or sorry, body mode, select this, then press Q, then select these two, and right click to confirm. And yeah, we got this nice little thing that was pretty, pretty easy. Cool. So I'm just going to delete these two curves. And we can continue on to another part. I'm going to do this part next. I'm going to slowly work my way through. <laughs> so, kind of start that. What I can do is I can create a, a line. I'm going to go to front mute vote mode. I'm going to click on... Let me just look where that roughly is. It is a bite here. Again, mine is not going to be a perfect replica, but because uh, I don't have the actual front side for, uh, top reference images to kind of be perfectly accurate, but it'll, it'll be alright. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to click. So they're snapping on, so I'm just going to switch that snapping off for now. Is there a hotkey for it? Um, I'm going to click here, and I'm going to switch snapping back on, and then let me just zoom out a little bit. So this will go maybe about here, let me zoom back in, and then switch snapping off, and then this will actually switch snapping on, and it goes kind of straight down for a tiny bit there and it goes like that and then switch off snapping that 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 Just kind of drawing the silhouette of it at the moment. Let me just see what that looks like. So then it goes up here. It goes straight. And then up. Let me just switch on the snapping. Up. Like so. Oh, that was not on the plane. Oh god. Can I scale it in? Scale it to zero? <laughs> no. That is odd, because I thought I was working in the front view, and it really messed up. Was I not working in the front view? because I had a... Uh, I'll just be playing from karma. Alright, let's repeat that then. <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened there, but yeah. So, I'll do this a little bit quicker actually, because it doesn't need to be perfect, I guess. This is just kind of like a practice. There. Then there, then there. And there. And there. There, then up here to about there, then straight, then down. I really hope it doesn't, the same issue doesn't happen again. And there, then straight, then up. Right. Because I did have a construction plane, so if I rotate. Let me just, oh, this is, oh, it's frame, more a line. My pivot is messed up on my camera, and I do not know how to, oh, there we go. So you click plane from selection to plane from camera, I suppose, and that changes the pivot of your camera. All right, 
so now that I've created this curve, I need to close it. So I can do so by just going to the front view, clicking on that point and then that point, and right clicking to confirm that. Cool. Then I'll click free, click on this and extrude it out a little bit, like so. Right click to confirm that. I only extrude it a tiny bit, I'll extrude it more after, but that'll be fine. And then I'll go into line mode and I'll just draw the trigger area here. So it'll be here, here, actually it'll be further down. It's quite a tight kind of something like that. Like here, and here, a little bit higher up, here, here, and here. Alright, oh, they'll, they'll be fine. Free to press to go into uh, face mode, extrude that out, right click to confirm it, G, move that in. And then I can boolean this together. So select, press free, select this one, uh, four, sorry, to go into body mode, select this part. Then Q, select that, right click. We got this, nice. I'm gonna delete all of those edges that were in there. Let me zoom into this. Don't know if that is an actual. So I have the trigger still to make. And this is still quite thin. I am going to mirror it over so it will be n a little bit thinner. And maybe I should have done that whole outline first. I'm actually going to pull that face out a little bit. So pull it out. Touch. Go and press body mode, select it. Alt X, tap that to mirror over to the other side, right click, Q, Q, join them, press S and can scale it up a little bit, not too much, that'll do, cool, go back at the front view, let's make the trigger now. So I can make the trigger hole first, or I could just make the trigger and just not bother with the hole, maybe. Yeah, let's just make the trigger. So I'm going to use spline curve for this. So I'm going to create it here at the top. Then click. And then click here. And then curve that down to here. That's good. Press G, I'm just going to move that out a little bit. Confirm that. And I'll create another spline curve, which will start from here. And I'll click here and then move that into there. Or just a bit below it. Right click to confirm that. Then line mode, click here to here. Then to here, then to here, to close that, right click, then here to here, right click. And that should have made a single shape, but it did not, oh, because they're in different planes. Let's see what I can do to move this, let me see. These two, press G. I 
actually I'll leave that one where it was, so I'll delete these two. So I'll delete that one and delete that one. And then I'll go to I'll just repeat that. So from here to here and then to here, right click, then line here to here. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to go to face mode, click on that, and extrude that out. That's looking good. And I'll go into edge mode and just bevel these edges. So this one, this one, and then these bottom ones as well. Actually, a small fillet here. Right click, confirm that. That's good. I'm going to delete these curves. Oops. Press 4, object mode, Alt X to mirror again. And then select the axis. You see how that how small that trigger is looking? It is a bit small. I'm gonna select them, press Q Q. And I'm also gonna press S and then just scale them in. You see what that looks like at a distance. I think this whole thing is looking a bit small. and scale it all up and move it all down into the front. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Right, so to continue this, I'm just going to make this metal part here. I'm not going to bother with this little metal part coming out, or actually maybe I could. Um, yeah, I'll actually do that. Nah, that'll be alright. So I'll go to the side here and I'm just going to use my line tool again. So I can click line tool, click this point here, then go forward a little bit. And go straight down. And then go in. Oh, actually, just go straight down for a little bit. Then there's like a little bit of a fly there. And then it goes to that point there. Yeah, it looks fine. And then I'll, I'll just go up into the side here just to close that off. And I can click on this face, move it out. Right click to confirm that, press G. Move that in. So about there. Let me just delete that curve. What I can do as well if I want to is just select this face and just move Move that out a little bit. That'll do. Doesn't need to be much. It's at a different angle, which is going to actually. That's fine. All right, I can go over to. Um, I'm going to select, go into object mode, select this, and then I'm going to press Alt X to mirror it and select my axis. Alt X. Hmm, okay. I think I need to move it over to the other side. Let me just press G, move it over to this side. G. Move out Alt X. There we go. Q, Q. 
right click. Let's select like this, then this, and key key. Right click. Kind of pulling it together. And then I can go to my front view again. Go to the center circle now. And I can click here and just drag, create a little circle. Press free. You just right click to confirm that. Press free, select the face, pull it out. Press G, move it in. Press 4, right click to confirm that. Press 4, select this one. And then shift, select this one. Press Q, right click. And delete that curve. And then I'll just give these two edges a small bevel. Something like that. Maybe slightly bigger actually. I don't want it to give it a chamfer. It's just a bevel. Like that. That is looking pretty nice. I'm going to select these edges as well. And give them a small bevel, like so. Cool. I actually messed up when building this, I think, because this is meant to be coming out, but oh well. Again, it doesn't need to be a perfect replica, just some practice. <laughs> so I'll do that, select these two edges, and I'm also going to give them a small chamfer, get some nice roundness in there. And this one here as well. Sorry, fillet. And these ones. No. These two. We see what that does to the geometry of it. Yeah, so in areas like this, I'm not entirely sure what the best thing to do is. Um, if it was in Maya or in ZBrush, I would. I don't know how to tackle it, but I need to uh, kind of learn a bit more about the program and how to kind of tackle that. But for now, I'm just going to leave as it is. But yeah, it's starting to look pretty, pretty interesting. So what I'll do is I'll actually draw like an offset of this, sh of that shape, and then extrude it out. I think that will probably be a little bit, a little bit better so I can go into my front view here I'm gonna go into line mode I'm gonna draw a little swipe from here so I'm gonna go from here to here right click to confirm that then I'll draw from this point down to here and then down and to the side here and down here and here Just remove snapping go from here to about here right click to confirm that then I'll go and use my spline curve, not spline curve, I'll use my free point arc curve. And snap from that end to that end and just create a small little curve there and I'll right click to confirm that and then I'll press one go into this mode and then I think it's B 
is it B? B? That is not doing it. That's fine, I'll do it after. I know there's a way of kind of beveling the uh, points. I don't know why that was not beveling. I'm pretty sure it's bevel. I'm pretty sure the hockey is B, but that's fine. Then I'm going to kind of extrude that out, that face out. Then I can go into my edge mode and s select that edge and just give it quite a big fillet, actually. Something like that. Get a nice curve edge there. And I'll control shift select this and then I'll just give them all a little small fillet like so and grab these curves delete them should also start naming these uh, if there's yeah I'll name them after anyway I'll be fine uh, now press S, I'm just going to scale that down, press G to move it, move it in, Alt X to mirror it, mirror over to the other side, right click to confirm that, select, go press 4 to go into object mode, select that, select that, press Q, Q, right click to confirm. Cool. Check what this looks like. But yeah, we're getting there. It's starting to look uh, pretty interesting. Um, yeah, we'll see see how it goes. But yeah, that'll be it for this video, guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.